Dear students, in this video lecture, we are going to find the Laplace transform of cube of trigonometric functions. In our previous lecture, we found the Laplace transform of the square of the trigonometric functions and we solved three problems under that topic. Now here also we have, we are going to solve three problems under the topic Laplace transform of cube of trigonometric functions. So for this, we will be using the trigonometric identities for sine cube t and cos cube t. Already we have seen the identities, but still I will tell you once again. This trigonometric identity for sine cube t is given by 3 sine t minus sine 3 t divided by 4. And the trigonometric identity for cos cube t is equal to 3 cos t plus cos 3 t divided by 4. So now we are going to make use of these two identities and solve the problems under Laplace transform. So the first problem that we are going to solve is to find the Laplace transform of sine cube t. So let us see that now. So here we have written the problem which is problem number 16. Kindly follow the previous lectures to learn problem from 1 to 15. So now here we have to find the Laplace transform of sine cube t. So by the trigonometric identity, we know that sine cube t is equal to 3 sine t minus sine 3 t the whole divided by 4. So instead of sine cube t, we can replace it by this identity. So therefore this will be equal to to find the Laplace transform of 3 sin t minus sin 3 t divided by 4. Now we are going to apply the scalar property and the linear proper, linear, linearity property and simultaneously so that we can take this 1 by 4 outside, here, outside the Laplace transform because by using the scalar property. And uh, la, uh, we, can uh, we can write the Laplace transform of the first function that is Laplace transform of 3 sin t minus the Laplace transform of the second function which is sin 3 t. So now here if you see we can again use the scalar property so that we can take this 3 which is a constant outside. So we will be having 1 by 4. 3 Laplace transform of sin t minus Laplace transform of sin 3 t. We have to now apply the next formula that is Laplace transform of sin a t is equal to a divided by s square plus a square because we have uh, L of sin t over here and L of sin 3 t over here. So that is equal to 1 by 4 multiplied with 3. Now what is L of sin t? So when we apply this formula, we observe that the value of a is equal to 1 here. So this will be 1 divided by s square plus 1 square minus the Laplace transform of sin 3t. So if you see, if you compare this formula, we see that the value of a is equal to 3 here. So the solution will be 3 divided by s square plus 3 square. So further on simplification, this will be equal to 1 by 4 multiplied with 3 divided by s square plus 1 minus 3 divided by s square plus 9. Now 3 is common in the numerator. So this will be equal to 3 by 4 multiplied with 1 by s square plus 1 minus 1 by s square plus 9. Now we can take the LCM over here. So we will be having 3 by 4 multiplied with the LCM will be s square plus 1 multiplied with s square plus 9. So on multiplying this with 1 we get s square plus 9. And s square plus 1 will be multiplied with negative 1. So that we will be having negative s square minus 1. So if you see over here, we can cancel this plus s square and minus s square. 
and what is 9 minus 1 it is 8 so this will be equal to 3 by 4 multiplied with 8 divided by s square plus 1 multiplied with s square plus 9 now further we can simplify this by cancelling this is 4 1 times 4 2 times and 3 2 times is 6 so 6 divided by s square plus 1 multiplied with s square plus 9 so this is the solution we shall now solve the next problem so we have completed far to far that is we have found laplace transform of sine cube t the next problem is to find the laplace transform of sine cube 2t so let us do this now so now i, I have taken in return here so l of sine cube 2t we have to find for this first we shall write the formula of sine cube t just now we saw what is sine cube t it is equal to 3 sine t minus sine 3t the whole divided by 4 now here in the question we need sine cube 2t so instead of t we are having 2t so what we have to do is at the place of t in the formula we have to replace it by 2t so this will be sine cube so instead of t we have to replace it by 2t will be equal to 3 sine so here we have t so we have to replace it by 2t so 2 sine 2t minus sine 3 and here we have a t what did i tell you t has to be replaced by 2t the whole divided by 4 and so this will be equal to 3 sine 2t minus sine 3 2 times is 6 so 6t the whole divided by 4 so therefore sine cube 2t is equal to 3 sine 2t minus sine 60 the whole divided by 4 so now instead of sine cube 2t we can replace it by this so let us do that now so this will be equal to laplace transform of so instead of sine cube 2t we can write this so 3 sine 2t minus sine 60 the whole divided by 4 now next we have to apply the scalar property in order to take this 1 by 4 outside and also the linearity property in order to take the laplace transform of each function separately so let us write that here so the next two concepts that we are going to use is scalar property and linearity property so that is equal to this 1 by 4 can be taken out by using the scalar property and this laplace transform can be taken to each of the functions so 3 sin 2t minus laplace transform of sin 60 so that is equal to again we have to apply the scalar property so that we can take this 3 out so 3 laplace transform of sin 2t minus laplace transform of sin 60 next because we have laplace transform of sine terms we are, we are going to use the result that is the next result that we will be using is laplace transform of sine a t we know that this is equal to a divided by s square plus a square so now we are going to use this result here so now that will be this will be equal to 1 by 4 multiplied with 3 what is laplace transform of sin 2t but we are now comparing with this laplace transform of sin a t so the value of a here is equal to 2 so in this formula we have to apply uh, a is equal to 2 so we will be having 2 divided by so 3 multiplied with 2 divided by s square plus 2 square and then minus laplace transform of sin 60 so laplace transform of sin 80 in you know, at the place of a we are having 6 over here so in this formula we have to apply a is equal to 6 so we will be getting 6 divided by s square plus 6 square 
Further, this on simplification will be equal to 1 by 4 multiplied with 3, 2 times is 6. So, 6 divided by s square plus 2 square minus 6 divided by s square plus 6 square. We can take the 6 common outside and so we will be having 6 by 4 multiplied with 1 by s square plus 2 square is 4 minus 1 by s square plus 6 square is 36. And so further we can take LCM and this also gets cancelled. This is 2 3 times and this is 2 2 times. So 3 by 2 multiplied with the LCM will be s square plus 4 multiplied with s square plus 36. So next this one has to be multiplied with s square plus 36 minus uh, s square plus 4 multiplied with 1. So minus s square minus 4 because we have a negative sign here we will be getting minus s square minus 4. Now this plus s square and minus x s square gets cancelled and we will be left out with 3 by 2 multiplied with so 36 minus uh, 4 we have here so we will be having 32 divided by s square plus 4 multiplied with s square plus 36 now if we simplify this further we can cancel this 2 and 32 16 times and 16 multiplied with 3 is 48 and so therefore the final solution will be 48 divided by s square plus 4 multiplied with s square plus 36. So this is the solution. We shall now solve the next problem that is the last problem of this lecture. So we have completed the second problem and the third problem is to find the Laplace transform of cos cube 3t. So let us see this now. So now here we have to find the Laplace transform of cos cube 3t. So what is the cube of cosine term that is cos cube t is equal to 3 cos t plus cos 3 t divided by 4. So we shall write that formula first. So here we have cos 3 I mean cos cube t to be equal to 3 cos t plus cos 3 t the whole divided by 4. But what do we require here? We need cos cube 3t. So instead of t, we have to replace by 3t in this formula. So we will get cos cube 3t. So instead of t, we have to put 3t. Wherever we have t, we have to replace it by 3t. So cos cube 3t will be equal to 3 cos. So instead of t, we have to put 3t plus cos 3 multiplied with instead of t we have to put 3t the whole divided by 4 so therefore cos cube 3t will be equal to 3 cos 3t plus cos so here we have a 3 outside so 3 3 times is 9 so in cos 9t divided by 4 so now this we have to apply over here instead of cos cube t cos cube 3t so therefore Laplace transform of cos cube 3t can be written as Laplace transform of so instead of cos cube 3t we can replace it by this that is 3 cos 3t plus cos 9t the whole divided by 4. Now we will apply the linearity property and the scalar property into this. So by applying the scalar property this 1 by 4 can be taken out. So 1 by 4 multiplied with again applying the scalar property this 3 can be taken out. So 3 and by the linearity property we will have L of cos 3t plus L of cos 9t. So we have used two concepts so we will write those two concepts here. So we have applied scalar property and linearity property. And next if you see it, this will be equal to 1 by 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with Laplace transform of cos 3t for which we have to use the formula that is the result Laplace transform of cos at which is equal to s divided by 
a square plus a square so this we have to apply so when we do so if you see here we have a to be equal to 3 so here we will have a square so 3 square so therefore 3 multiplied with s divided by a square plus 3 square is 9 plus laplace transform of cos 9t so if you apply that here the value of a is 9 so we will have s divided by a square plus 9 square so s divided by a square plus 9 square is 81 so therefore the solution is 1 by 4 multiplied with 3s divided by a square plus 9 plus s divided by a square plus 81 so you may conclude the answer here or you may also simplify it further so if you want to simplify this will be equal to if we take s common s by 4 and if we take lcm within it will be s square plus 9 multiplied with s square plus 81 so when we multiply 3 with s square plus 81 it will be 3 s square plus 81 into 3 is 243 plus here you will be having 1 so 1 multiplied with s square plus uh, 9 so further this will be equal to s by 4 now 3s square plus s square will be 4s square plus 243 plus 9 that is 252 so 252 divided by s square plus 9 multiplied with s square plus 81 so this is the solution so therefore we have solved the three problems under um, laplace transform of cubic trigonometric functions in our next video we will be solving laplace transform of product of trigonometric functions for which we will be using these trigonometric identities so kindly follow the lecture trigonomy the following lecture in order to find the laplace transform of product of trigonometric functions thank you